fermented glycogen stores. Hey! Hey, knock it off. Stop. Thank you. Hey guys, Chaz here. Uh, it's time for a workout of the week, off season edition. This week, uh, this has been a popular one that people have been asking me about. So here we go, we're gonna roll it out. We're talking about endurance rides. Not just any endurance ride, but we're talking about fasted endurance rides. First off, uh, people have asked, you know, what's the difference between an endurance ride and a fasted endurance ride? Um, so with that, I'll just, I'll just tell you straight up. Uh, an endurance ride, usually you, you wake up, you have whatever breakfast you have, and then you roll out and you do your normal ride, and it's just a normal day. Um, fasted endurance rides are a little bit different in the fact that you are doing them fasted. In other words, you aren't eating anything before you're going out for your ride. Here's what a, a faster endurance ride will do for you. Uh, the first thing, obviously, is uh, it's going to teach your body to use fats as more of a, a fuel source. Um, the second thing it's gonna do is it's gonna make your body more efficient overall uh, while on the bike. The third thing it's gonna do is, you know, for some people it's gonna be a way of doing weight loss as well while on the bike. If you're trying to hit a weight target goal, doing a faster ride, you know, one to two times a week, uh, will help you get towards that. Just gotta remember not to overindulge in food post ride because you're just so hungry. The fourth thing it does is it boosts mitochondria in your body. Uh, mitochondria is key because what it does is it uh, takes part in the producing of ATP and just helping to produce energy in your body, especially when you're um, going to be doing harder, intense efforts. You need something to deliver uh, the source of fuel to where those muscles are, and having more mitochondria, having more workers is going to help. So that's also what fasted rides do, is they help to boost that as well. So let's talk how to do a fasted ride. Uh, super simple, I would recommend uh, not eating before you ride, otherwise it won't be fasted. But um, let's start with the day before. It's very important that whenever you had your dinner or your last snack, you wanna try to go at least 12 hours um, before uh, your ride or even during your ride. So say you uh, the night before you stop eating at eight and you're gonna ride the next morning at you know seven or 8 a.m., well, that's gonna be 12 hours right there. And then if you wake up and you have to have something, uh, some things you can have is water, you can have black tea, um, or you can have black coffee. No creamer, no sugar, nothing added. If you add anything to it, it just takes away the fact that you're doing it faster. Then what you do is you go on your ride, and basically you just ride, no food on your ride, and that's a fasted ride. Um, you do wanna make sure that you take water on your ride. It's important to always be hydrated. Uh, you can take an electrolyte source um, also, but you have to make sure that there's no carbs in that electrolyte source. Let's talk the duration of a fasted ride. I would recommend not going more than 90 minutes fasted. Um, so I would do you know a week or two of 90 minutes and then work up to two hours. Or um, if you're like, I have a three hour ride today, but I want to do at least part of it fasted, I would recommend doing the first 90 minutes fasted and then just feel as needed or as regularly as you usually do uh, for the remainder of your ride. I've done that plenty of times where I would start a ride fasted and then about halfway through I'll start eating and, and drinking more carbs and I end the ride strong. I wouldn't recommend going over two hours fasted. Uh, one big reason is at that point your body could be tapping into using protein and breaking that down as fuel. Um, if you've maybe run out of some fat stores or if your body is starting to get, if you're riding a little bit harder than what you should be riding. Um, and you're out of carbs, that's what's gonna happen. Especially if you um, understand that your sweat, it's starting to smell kind of like ammonia-like, that means that your body's starting to really break down protein and use that as source, which means your muscles are gonna be uh, basically eaten from the inside. So make sure that you don't get to that point. If you start to get to that point, immediately start taking in carbs, eat something, and your body will start switching back into normal mode. Uh, one last thing uh, with this ride is we wanna make sure we keep intensity low. Black coffee, jump on the bike, I go out, I make sure I stay in zone two or I stay at you know 60 to 70 percent of my threshold. This is important because this is really the zone where you're going to be burning the most fat um, as your fuel source and if you're fasted all you want to do is burn fat anyways. You don't want to dip into your, your carb stores because if you do that then uh, you're going to bomb. You want to make sure you do that um, and then uh, you know I'll do it for about 90 minutes to two hours and then I either call it quits, come home and have uh, breakfast, or I will actually start fueling at that point 
and then carry on for however long my ride is. So if it's a four hour ride and I, I might do the first 90 minutes to two hours, fasted, chill, zone two, uh, and then carry on and, and eat as normal. Or you could even start um, one of your workout rides in a fasted state. Uh, do maybe uh, a little little sweet spot early on and then start feeling as normal and that that's pretty much your faster ride so let's talk uh, when to do these faster rides super simple last week we used the example of endurance rides and when to do endurance rides faster rides fall into the exact same day so if you have an endurance ride going for that day uh, you could easily turn that into a fasted endurance ride no not a big deal at all I've done that plenty of times so that's where it kind of falls in your schedule. Do not do any workouts fasted. I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, you could, but I definitely would not recommend it because if you're doing that, uh, you sacrifice having a poor workout. So I'd, I'd rather be fueled up, topped off for a workout versus going into a hungry with limited glycogen store. There you go, that's fasted rides, fasted endurance rides. So uh, hey, any questions, leave them below. Uh, comments, please leave those as well. And uh, as always, it's been, it's been great, so uh, hey, See you guys later.